I'm Sophie Krasmalnik, and I like Bones. Not just the things in our body, but the show, the fictionalization of the life and work of forensic anthropologist Dr. Kathy Riggs. Knowing that bones are porous, my consequential thought was that light would be allowed through the pores at varying degrees according to the porosity. Osteoporosis is a chronic condition wherein spongy bone becomes more porous and cortical bone thins, leading to reduced bone density and an increased risk of fracturing. A prototype utilizing a light-dependent resistor, or LDR, a sensor that varies its resistance based on the amount and concentration of light detected, was developed to quantify differences in bone health based on porosity. Varying levels of bone health cause resistance to fluctuate based on the amount of transmitted light, wherein lower resistance in kiloohms indicate higher lux values, which is a brighter light. The overall goal of this project is to measure post-mortem bone porosity using visible light. In this experiment, based on a Durham University study, osteoporosis-like conditions were manually induced in 22 diaphyseal cross-sections of Texas Wagyu femur and 12 cross-sections of a 74-year-old human female's lower femur through boiling. In the first experimental set of 12 diaphyseal cross-sections, average LDR resistance increased from 0.47 to 0.61 kiloohms. In the second experimental set of 10 thin diaphyseal cross-sections, the average LDR resistance increased from 0.6 to 0.8 kiloohms. Across all samples, this translates to a 31% reduction in LDR resistance and a 60% reduction in transmitted light. Although the bone loses protein and experiences crystallization of appetite, the translucence is higher in healthy bone than porous bone, indicated by lower resistance and higher lux values transmitted. Boiled samples show textbook structural changes and exhibited higher resistance values, indicating lower levels of transmitted light. Obtaining normative samples of known porosities to provide a clinical validation will further validate the research and steer it towards the ultimate goal of creating a non-invasive in vivo bone density test for determining and monitoring osteoporosis. Overall, it was shown that postmortem bone porosity fluctuations can be identified using visible light. This technique is cost-effective safe, portable, quick, easy, and radiation-free, and shows promise as an effective postmortem bone analysis tool for health and medical legal purposes. This is crucial because our current forensic methods are increasingly proven to be unreliable, and by changing the way we view sciences, we can further validate scientific claims. With further work to quantify and calculate clinical values, this could become a staple for body identification, starvation and child abuse cases, and for education or in departments with few scientific resources.